Thank you for the connection. I don't know who's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Check. Okay. 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 <laughs> well, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Nacho Goy, and I am a, a computer science engineer. I work here in the university, the Universidad Politécnica de Valencia, as a multimedia technique. And one part of my job is to uh, search for improvements. Uh, for, uh, for new technologies, for developing, for investigate new improvements for our uh, e-learning platforms. One uh, e-learning platform that we use is obviously OpenCast. And this presentation is to show you one thing we, we have been testing a uh, few, few days. And it's the 360 recording, uh, using a 360 recording camera to substitute the cameras that we are using now to record our classroom. It's a camera like this. Maybe later, later you, can, you can see it. And let's start. So a few years ago, I saw a, a video on YouTube that saw uh, a 360 degrees recording, and I was uh, thinking, this is spectacular. And I think, I want to do this. I want to make a 360 degrees recording. But I started to search uh, on the internet, and I, and I found this. I mean, if I wanted to record something like the video I saw, I needed something like this, a very complicated ride with a very complicated stand, with a lot of cameras, very expensive, and not for the standard user, because you have a very complicated software to, to, to blend all the, the videos, a lot of video outputs to work with. But now we are in the future, I think. If you, if you look for 360 degree camera, you can find something like this. Very simple cameras with only one or two lenses, only one video output, and the very uh, simple uh, software, very easy to use. So we thought, let's, let's buy one. We started with this one, Ricoteta, is uh, the one I have shown you. Why this camera? It's, it's not for nothing special. It's because one colleague bought, uh, bought this camera for himself. And we tested and see it was a very good camera with, be with uh, very good quality image. And we thought, let's test it. Another important thing in this camera is that it has a HDMI output and a USB connector. USB connector. Then uh, later we discovered that it's uh, a video output too. I will show you too. So what did we do? We connected the camera to our capture agent and make this video. In this presentation, I will show you first the final result, and after that, I will explain you how did we get it. So, this is by a player, and this is a classroom that we recorded using this camera. Oh, sorry. Why? Okay, it's the secondary monitor. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's very... No. I don't know if we have audio. We don't have audio. <laughs> don't worry. OK. This is uh, the final result. As, as I told you, we have uh, recorded the screen. We have recorded the teacher. Well, where is the teacher? It doesn't matter. I am here. It's very It's useful. This is useful. I don't know, but it's very cool, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
So you can see the image quality is not very good. This is uh, because of the camera. I will tell you later why. But as you can see, I can stop the video and navigate through everything the camera has recorded, OK? Even I can see if the students are paying attention or doing something strange, OK? Maybe if we had audio, we can see we have a, a student that makes a question, maybe more or less this point. Hey, 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 I have a question. OK, OK. So I answer the question, because the one who is making the, 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 the classroom, it's me. But as I told you, this is very interesting. You can look to the ceiling. You can look to the bottom. <laughs> This is the camera. The camera disappears itself, OK? So let's continue with the presentation. So how did we get this uh, result? We, use, uh, we are using a Linux capture agent using uh, Gallicaster. And this is the image that we see. First, the, the part of the screen capture. And this is what we see. Uh, using the video output of the 360-degree uh, camera. This is the RAW format, and it's called dual fisheye fish eye mode. It shows what is capturing both lens, OK? But this is, uh, you can do nothing with this, with this format. This is the HDMI output. So we have to convert this format to this other format. It's called a rectangular format. And it's obtained uh, using, uh, normally, the uh, driver that the camera, uh, you can download the camera driver to obtain this format. So we have three options, but two solutions. The first option was used, uh, like I told before, the camera driving conversion. We always want to obtain this format to work with. It's, very, it's easier than work with this other format. So the first solution, the, fir the first option was use the camera driver conversion using the Blender driver uh, and obtaining the key rectangular format. The second one was using the OpenCast, post-processing the video recorder with, uh, with the FFMPEG uh, after the ingest. And after obtaining the AQ rectangular format, as I told you, we have developed a plugin for the Paella player to see the video you have seen before. But we, um, we have another option, is to implement or develop another plugin to uh, see in real time the conversion. I mean, not processing the video, uh, capturing directly, sorry, Directly in this format, and the plugin we have developed shows us the video in 360 degrees in real time. And we can browse the, uh, the video during the video, okay? But uh, this is very all, all, all beautiful. I have shown you the video is very good. I think it's a good point to start. But we have found uh, some annoying details I'm going to explain to you. For example, in this camera, we have only uh, 60 hertz, and in Spain we use 50 hertz. So the video you can see some lines or some 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 things that you don't like. It has a very good uh, option to change the picture formats. It takes uh, very good pictures, and uh, connecting the device uh, to the to your mobile phones, you can change everything almost. But only to make pictures. If you want to take video and to to change the settings of the video. It hasn't got anything, OK? Another problem is the output formats. To use the Blender driver the camera, the camera brings, you have to use the USB output, not the HDMI output. And using the USB output, you only have a, a 720 resolution. You don't have full HD resolution. And as you have seen, the quality of the video is not, uh, not, not very good. Not like the other presentation in 4K. This one is it's not so good. The other problem is the start button. I, I mean, if I want to, to use the camera as a webcam to see the live video, I have to press 
this bottom, I have to press another bottom, I have to press this, I have to look to the sky, and three things more that it's very difficult to start the camera only to, to use uh, like a webcam. And we have detected that using the camera a lot of time, uh, it gets very hot and sometimes it goes off without saying nothing, okay? But like I say, this is a very new technology and there are a lot of cameras, uh, so maybe with another cameras, this problem has been resolved. But the conclusions are that this is a very good, uh, very new technology and it has to be developed and, and tested. Those cameras now are intended to be uh, for domestic and sporadic use, not for intensive use as, as we have used. And to adapt the camera for the use we want, uh, we would have to make a to make some changes or, or to solve several problems. Like uh, I told you, it's impossible to, to make it a automatic power on and, on and off. You have to make the, the, button, uh, the buttons uh, combination to, to start it. Another thing is the temperature, the temperature, like I told you, and I think the most important thing right now is the image quality is not so good for the standard that we are using now. But I think it's a good starting point. Uh, I, will, uh, I, I think it's a good thing. Uh, and we have uh, basically made this test only to prove that, that we can make it. And thank you for your attention. Maybe you have some question or you can, two questions. If someone is Spanish, uh, maybe he can ask in Spanish, I will answer in English. Hi, uh, do you plan to continue to develop this uh, like with a bear helmet or something like that? With a, with a helmet? Yeah. I, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I, to see with a... With a... Yeah, with a... Oh. I... Yeah, yeah, this is difficult. I, I will tell you why. Because uh, when you use the, the Oculus Rift, uh, you are alone with the video of the teacher. Uh, we are using, uh, sorry, the power of OpenCast is to use the presentation. During the video, you can see the presentation the teacher is giving, and obviously the, the video of the teacher. It's interesting, but. Uh, but I think this will uh, be possible when the quality of the video uh, is good enough. Right now, I think it's not, not so good. Okay, thank you. Thank you. A lot of questions. <laughs> Did you already have a look which newer cameras might fit your purpose better? So I saw on your slides the uh, Nikon, for example. At yeah. the moment, um, I always look at these cameras and I have not started with 360 because I always found, even from the technical specs, downsides on these cameras that uh, tell me, okay, let's wait half a year or a year more. Um, I, I think uh, it's too, too I, I think, I, I started with the presentation telling you that this is uh, the future and it's not, sorry. <laughs> I mean, uh, the cameras, uh, the technology is so new. So they tell you, uh, they record in, in full HD resolution, but uh, you see they use the full frame and it's not a very good quality. I think uh, this, is, this is a good camera, Nikon is a good camera, but it's too soon. I mean, maybe in one or two years we will get the quality we want. But we will still develop if my boss wants. Uh, I, I want more, ca more cameras to taste, I mean. <laughs> Uh, have you considered pairing the, the 360 camera with, with some kind of tracking? Uh, not only thinking about left to side or something like that, but also 
uh, audio tracking to, to point the camera, the, the, cam the view on the pleasure pleasure to the person speaking? Yes, um, we are working in the audio tracking now, but uh, separately. I mean, one side the audio tracking and the other side the image. I think uh, when we get the enough image quality, we will uh, fix uh, two technologies. But it is a good idea, I think. Um, I was curious about when you said that you um, you developed a plugin for Paella yep. in order to play back this kind of video. Um, I guess that is pretty similar to what the to what Teodul player does. I mean, the feature not similar, but the feature of zooming in and out in a video because you need that definitely in yep. order to render 360 um, great video. Uh, are you then uh, also uh, maybe interested in producing a plugin f for exactly for that, just to zoom in and a larger scale video? Yeah. Yeah, uh, the good thing of, Spy of Fire Player is that you can develop uh, plugins uh, during time uh, for your um, your own problems or your own solutions. Uh, the problem is the same. The quality of the video is not enough good. So if I make a, a digital zoom, it will it be it would be very, very bad, I think. No, but I mean, I mean, uh, a greater res resolution video, right? Ah, okay. Right. Okay. No, Sorry. no, but he can answer. But I have, then, <laughs> I have a second question. Maybe it's yep. a more suitable for you, uh, because you spoke about uh, another plugin that you had to develop in order to make this kind of video stream from the camera live, so, so that you don't have to render it afterwards. Yep. Actually, we also have uh, bought that same camera and another one to test. Oh. And um, by researching it, I saw that there is, a, there is an extra driver that you can install. Mm -hmm. And then you get it in the um, um, system directly in that form. So it's actually thought exactly for that, for live streaming, yep. but also to use it uh, directly as, uh, you know, you can use you can also take the stream from that and use it uh, in whatever reason you want so maybe you you have saw you have uh, sewn it but you weren't really happy with the quality and you did it uh, yeah. yourself or yeah 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 we developed uh, excuse me sorry uh, like i told here we developed uh, two plugins. The first one was uh, to work with the uh, blended image using the driver of the camera. And the other plugin is uh, with uh, using the raw mode, it's a dual fisheye uh, mode. And we have developed this plugin uh, only for this camera. It doesn't work with another camera, right. okay? But we can share the plugin if you have the same camera. Uh, we have developed this, the plugin for this camera. It's maybe it's better the plugin for the eco rectangular mode because it's a standard. But we, for this presentation, uh, we 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 like that it, it everything was perfect. So we developed the the plugin for the, this camera only for this camera. Okay. But we can share with you if you if you can <laughs> if you want. It's in GitHub. So. In GitHub. <laughs> so that's great. Thank you. Maybe the other question he he can answer you. Yeah, I'll, I'll be very fast. Yes, it's regarding the Zoom question, is something that we are considering to assume to Paya like Theodul. So uh, if we are able to do so, uh, we will, we will do that. Regarding, regarding to, to your question, yes, it's, uh, the, um, I will tell a bit in our, our Paya player presentation uh, tomorrow, but uh, what we are using is that uh, the video player is able to play on top of OpenGL surfaces. So what we do is to make a sphere and, and just paste the, the video. So if it is in rectangular mode, you paste it in one way, if it's a dual sphere, you have to paste in a more complicated way that is depending on the camera. But it's more or less the same. So uh, we first, 
as, as Nacho said, we first we paste it from rectangular, that is quite, well, it was quite easy. But then as we want to get rid out of windows, we, we make the calculations for this particular camera. That's, that's, the, that's the point. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you very much. If you have more questions, you have uh, my email here. And I will, I will be pleased to solve any question you have. Thank you very much.